That groundhog gets all the credit. And for what? Looking for a shadow? You know, humans look to other animals that can forecast the weather too. I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and people have been looking to creatures large and small to predict the weather months ahead of time. The groundhog got his start in 1887, but before that, people were looking to goose bones to predict winter severity. The method goes something like this. Around November, the family would cook and serve a fresh goose for dinner, but they'd be careful not to cut the wishbone. They'd let that bare wishbone dry out and see what color it would change. White was a mild winter. Purple tips meant a cold spring. A little blue meant bad winter would hold off until New Year's Day. And darker or all blue meant a bad winter was in store. The idea was a darker bone meant the bird absorbed more oil, which would be a natural protection against the cold, so darker bones meant a harder winter. More recently, there's a man in Saskatchewan, Canada, who slaughters a pig every fall or early winter and uses the pig spleen to create a long-term forecast. He divides the spleen into six parts, each representing the next six months. According to the prognosticator, the varying thickness of the spleen represents varying temperatures and weather patterns, and he claims he's right 80 to 90 percent of the time. Another method involves less expertise and fewer pigs. The woolly bear caterpillar or woolly worm. According to legend, the little black and brown caterpillars can give observers an idea of what to expect for the upcoming winter. If the brown band is bigger, it'll be a mild winter. But if the brown band is small, get ready for a cold, harsh winter ahead. This is just a handful of animal forecasters, and there are many, many more. If you like this video, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, and tell me about your favorite animal meteorologist.